Hi everyone, here I am again with the journal I started. Still safe, still standing. <laughs> Stiff upper lip and whatever. <laughs> so I'm still here and still going to do something. Not sure what exactly. I've picked a lot of stuff to for decorating the journal. I still don't know what the cover will be. I'm leaving it for the end. I've, I have all kinds of stickers. I've got envelopes, all kinds of, this is a painty paper I've done with brushes and all kinds of uh, punches that I used on it. And this is a mandala that I've done. It was a large one. Then I photocopied it in on sticker paper in several sizes. Maybe I will use it. And I've got some stamps here. All kinds of ATCs that I've made and maybe will get in. And tags. I'm not sure. I just picked things that might uh, work inside this journal I've got all this uh, all kinds of trims and uh, I don't know what to call all of this uh, lace trims like so and I bought everything here because I know myself and if it's not in front of me if it stays in the stash then it will keep staying there if I don't bring out things then I don't use them I also got some uh, velcro dots that maybe I will use to do all kinds of closures I've got some breads here on the side I will not bring it here I also have buttons all kinds of buttons now uh, from making this I still got leftovers that maybe will be incorporated inside maybe i will do tag tags or um something like bookmarks or i don't know so i still got the leftovers i also have more pages of the, from the same scrapbook paper that i used uh, to do uh, several of the pages inside i've got uh, these are paper napkins that I glued to the back of some of the 12 by 12 so I will have more a uh, paper to cut and play with what else I've got this more things to play with not sure if I will use I'm just bringing in uh, anything that I think I, I can use also I've got this because I think that maybe I will put it in several places so there will be a where to space for writing I've got this just plain notebook this notebook I've dyed with uh, as you see blue not sure if I'll use it uh, but it's here it's accessible so it's in my face <laughs> if i need it okay so i've got the three signatures that you've seen me make and and i've stitched them to the craft foam and now i'm as i said i'm just going to start decorate decorating and i'm not going to put too many thought into it uh, because what can I say I am scatterbrained but I need this let out I, you probably can still hear the TV in the back it seems like I can't turn it off I am in constant well what can I say I, the only uh, definition I have for this uh, situation is I'm constantly in DEFCON 1 we are a uh, listening uh, constantly and on the go 
especially to hear if there is a siren so as I said in my last video if there is a siren I need to just stop everything run down to the safe room so starting I'm talking too much I, I took this stencil just because it has all kinds of elements that I just feel go with the rest of um, what I have inside this page is made out of envelope it, here is the other side of it in the signature and I'm just going to put the stencil here I'm taking some distress inks to use and let's see and this maybe a little bit of orange one lipstick no I think it's just too much I I need to be careful with pink I have a problem with pink <laughs> I need to be very careful using it maybe Victorian velvet I'm not sure and some kind of green and let's take evergreen bow whatever okay so i'm taking this makeup brush and i'm going to just start working on this page i just want a very subtle look and i'm going to change in between that's how I always work on a, on things. I don't like solid areas. I like to mix colors. I think it looks um, more organic. So I'm just each time I'm picking up something else and it also creates more shades in between so just look in here yeah, it's nice but maybe 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 I will be brave and use this worn lipstick Okay, it seems like some of the distress inks are more uh, vibrant or more, maybe it's just the ink, they are more uh, moist. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm keeping these colors to the flowers mostly and all the other stuff i think i'll just go around with the green that i've picked i'm not doing any exact anything it's not precise it doesn't have to be for me at least i don't care yeah so i'm switching to another brush just to use the green I'm going quite uh, gently I'm not uh, pushing it too too hard just so I will have something on the white of the envelope I could have taken acrylic paints and stenciled with a makeup sponge but I decided to go like this just because it's more soft and subtle that's it that's why I decided to go like this I'm thinking of adding another color I'm picking crushed olives the 
once again so I won't have just one color. Okay, let's switch. This one kind of yellowish, I don't mind. As I said, it's just so I will have variation in the color and I think it also because it has yellow in it, it just helps to connect the two, well, let's call it two uh, different family colors. miss this part how did I manage to do it I don't know never mind aligning it again yeah so a nice start for this and I'm trying to do different things uh, for each page like now I'm putting this aside let's see maybe um, maybe some stamping I don't know or gluing something interesting Let's take one page out of this and see how it works. This one is a little bit torn. Okay. This could be interesting. Okay. So this is going here, but now I want to add something to the background around it. So I'm taking again, let's put this aside. I'm taking again the distress ink and just adding some color to the background. quite random. I'm not looking for complete coverage. Just something interesting and not white blank background. Yeah, something like that. I just need a little bit more color here. And let's see, maybe no, um, I'm not going to stamp here. I'm just going to glue this and I'm thinking maybe I'll just put some a double-sided tape, adhesive tape, so I won't have to deal with wet, but I don't know. I can just use a glue stick. Let's move this. Glue sticks. Okay, now when you're doing something like this, you can do it however works for you. You can do a, each time one page with everything on it, or you can decide now I'm going all through my journal with the stickers, and then I'm going all through my journal 
with stamps or as I said each time one page and it, it needs to be for me it needs to be just not too much overthinking and it needs to be just flowing because I can't deal with anything more I just need to do something and that's it here I'm picking up a sticker I want a sticker here and I want something else so right now I'm just being here at this page let's see if I've got something interesting no it's just too big for the for this page <clears throat> nope. Just trying out uh, all kinds of stuff. You know what? I like it. It's going here. I really like it. Never thought about it, but I like it. So, some glue in the back. <coughs> I'm going to uh, stop the video for <coughs> a minute I'm going to make myself some tea and I'm I'll be back Okay, I'm back and I've got my L guy so I can continue. So next page, this one, it, too much pink so I'm taking one of the leftovers and I'm thinking about adding just a strip here and this is just too wide. So right now I'm just marking where I want to trim it and let's take the ruler and I'm aligning it here on the cutting mat so and now I think I think I'll trim it. I'm just eyeballing it. Doesn't look, looks crooked. Let's see. Okay. <sighs> very simple just a piece of paper nothing to it i'm not even making it something that you can tuck some uh, something inside it's just decorative for this page just to break a little bit of this pink so i'm putting it here and because i've got all the butterflies in the back i'm thinking of adding some butterflies and let's see let's take this one and I'm looking for an acrylic block here we go. Oops.
I'm, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe it's the stress, maybe it's the whole situation, but I'm struggling to do something as simple as decorating this art journal. But then again, if I won't do it, then I think I'll be in even worse a uh, situation. So I need to buckle up and just continue and say to myself, you finished two pages, move on, continue. <laughs> I need to tell to to have pep talk <laughs> with myself. I'm putting glue here in the side where I made a pocket by folding the 12 by 12 paper and I'm using this only because it has a very fine nozzle so it's easy and it's a very a strong glue you uh, not supposed to use it on paper because you don't need to but I'm using it just because it makes my life easier that's it Let's see. Would it go in here? Yeah, putting it here. This one is decorated. It doesn't need anything. Next page. Now, if you feel that stuff like this is um, making it a problem to do stuff on the other pages, then just move it and just add it later on whatever as i said it's i'm not overthinking it there is no plan i'm just doing whatever i can at each time for whatever i can each time in that specific moment that's it i can't do anything other than that see this is a sticker as I said a mandala that I've made then photocopied and then made into printed it on sticker paper uh, the quality of the print is not great it was an old printer I had an inkjet I think so but it's good enough to decorate this so i'm planning on um, scanning all the mandalas i've made and then printing them on sticker paper so i will have lots of more stuff to play with Yeah, so this one here, my hands are kind of shaky, <laughs> what can I say, I don't sleep much right now, it is what it is. I had so many, uh, I, I don't have the words, so many moving uh, comments from you uh, on the other video. It was great to hear from everyone and it, well, it elevated my mood, <laughs> as I said. I don't quite have the words to describe what I'm feeling. Not really my cup of tea using words. So 
it was great it was fabulous <laughs> what can i say i'm i'm looking for the right adjective to to say to you how thankful i am for you watching my, vi my videos and uh, leaving me a comment so thank you all some reached out uh, also on facebook and messenger and it was just great i had a comment that almost well not almost it uh, just uh, brought tears to my eyes from someone in iran for anyone who knows just a little bit about the Middle East, you know that Israel and Iran are enemy countries, at least by our governments. And it was so moving to hear from this person. And I will explain why. First of all, we don't hate, at least not I, people that I know. We don't hate Arabs, we don't hate Muslims, we don't hate anyone. And we know that it's not the Iranian people. If it was up to me and this person that left me a comment, there would be no war. And I had tears in my eyes because of her um, really eloquent uh, comment and it was very moving but and that's a really big but i told her that it i it, i was very happy to hear from her but she must not contact me again it's she put her self and her family at risk i had a same thing uh, about a month ago from someone from syria another country that uh, is supposed to be enemy of israel these two countries there are more <laughs> sadly if the Access to internet is, uh, it's not like here or any other place. It's not very accessible. And when you have access to the internet and to several uh, social media, things that we took, take for, uh, for common, like YouTube, Things are monitored in Iran, in Syria, in other places. If, if the regime gets hold of what you wrote to me through the, com through the comments on YouTube, she, she is putting herself and her family at risk. And I'm not, I'm not joking. It's not a joke she can disappear so i told her thank you from from the bottom of my heart and i told her that in five minutes i'm deleting her comment and my response and i've waited five minutes and that's what i've done and i really hope that she got my response and it's a sad, sad world that that's the situation. Because, as I said, if it was up to me and up to her, and I probably lo a lot more, then we wouldn't be in this situation. So, I think for this I will uh, leave it as is. Place to art or to write, whatever another pocket so i need to glue the side uh, 
because on until now I made just videos of me arting and the only talk was about what am I doing an explanation how to do it then when people wanted to ask me questions it was in the comment section and I try to reply as much as I can these days when people contact me I just say well it depends on the question depends uh, but I'm very short in my answer and uh, it's not because I don't want to or be you are not bothering me or anything it's nice to hear from you it gives me strength to continue and what the only thing is that is as I said I'm not very sociable right now so I just say thank you and I'm safe and that's it not don't ever think that you are bothering me I put glue only on the bottom because I don't want to uh, for it to close the pocket so it, it's decorating right now the pocket without uh, blocking the excess inside moving on okay let's put it back here what do I want to do I didn't use anything from here so let's go with this okay all kinds of stuff from the cheap store yes this will work okay cutting it here and once again I'm going to you can decorate with so many stuff I'm not using may things that I made right now except most mostly because I really want to start using all the things that I've bought through the years I don't have more room for anything I don't buy any oh, almost nothing if I'm if my glue is starting to uh, diminish then I will go and buy glue but otherwise I try not to buy any more stuff and now I'm really trying to use what I have however I can so here we go and these are the pockets I'm thinking I could take the same uh, trim and put it here but I'm going to use this just for the fun of it let's see yeah Okay, so I lost my train of thought and let's see if I remember all kinds of questions that people asked me through the years like if I have um, some kind of background in art and I do have well up till 
let's see up till i was 20 i was always making stuff i was a sewing i was knitting i was painting but i didn't have any a official <laughs> training whatever however you want to call it and i know how to sew i know how to crochet i know <laughs> uh, macrame uh, patchwork uh, whatever <laughs> all kinds of stuff and so when i well after the military and after uh, one more year that i went to work so i will have time to decide what i want to learn i decided to go and to the university to to, to learn designing for the theater which is costumes sets lightning and basically a lot more because in theater you are trying or f for that matter in filming movies you are creating you need to create uh, it's fiction but you need to create reality a piece of reality if it's on stage or if it's in a studio or whatever so you have to learn many stuff and so that's what I went to the university, finished, I have a degree. I, I know lots of stuff that I never thought I will uh, use again. Uh, because after the university, I decided that my place is not in the theater. What can I say? Too many crazy actors and more crazy directors. It, it was just too much for me. I'm too much practical for that stuff. So <laughs> just went along with life and I am always in some kind of administrative um, job. And the rest is for I don't know if to, to call it a hobby or just um, I don't know what I really don't know what to call it but whenever I have time then that's what I will do although it took me a lot of time to get back to art uh, to do something arty from all kinds of reasons life happens and I really got back to it like a six I think it's six years ago when I kind of it's like I kind of discovered YouTube it, I don't know <laughs> where I was living <laughs> but I used to go on YouTube only for a, all kinds of tutorials of how to like change a faucet or how to uh, fix the wall all kinds of stuff and then somehow I stumbled on all kinds of tutorials art tutorials and all kinds of stuff about gel plate and then it, it just you know you 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 press on you see one video and then there are a lot more and if you like something it, it, it's a rabbit hole you start with something and you don't know where you will go and suddenly I found cat hand and she started the mixed media morsels and I just got sucked to it so <laughs> so that from there I, I went into 
the art journaling, especially because up till then, all my things were done on canvas, all my paintings, mixed media, and there comes a time, forget about the money, never mind the money, but there comes, there comes a time where I just don't have more room for all the canvases, not on the walls, not in anywhere in the house, and <laughs> that's after I've sold some, I gave some, there's just no more room and when I figure out figured out that I can art indefinitely cheaply in all kinds of art journals it was like wow it's like it saved me because then I can also I could also do the junk journals and all kinds of stuff that I didn't think I could use and I can take all kinds of itsy bitsy uh, uh, journals or uh, pocket books or a notebook and do stuff it doesn't have to be big it can be small and I have like this one I've bought this a sketchbook uh, from the cheap store and after I bought it I came home and I said why on earth did you buy it what are you going to do in this small thing and what do you know it's completed and I'm waiting to make a, a flip through there is another journal waiting that is uh, finished and I'm making uh, the cover and well the war started and i stopped with the cover and i stopped with this and well all kinds of pro projects are waiting on the side here to be completed and to be videoed because some i thought would be interesting as tutorials so yeah <laughs> lots of stuff uh, and as I said in the, my last video, there are four other videos ready to go up on air. And I just couldn't put them on. I'm really a... Well, I am just myself, but it was the myself before the war started. A week ago, I just figured out that I'm... It's a week and I haven't left the house. I'll probably start molding. <sighs> so that's, that's that. I hope to at least one of those videos to put up. Depends on how, I, how I'm, I'm feeling. Because I've made a dragon eye from air clay. And I thought that it would be interesting at least uh, because you can make all kinds of stuff with it for Halloween so I don't know let me I think there is one here near me just so you will see what I'm talking about Yeah, here we go. One dragon eye, and that you can put on covers of notebooks, journals, uh, boxes, whatever. I'm just showing how to make this, and you need any kind of uh, air dry clay. I personally use a foam clay, and I uh, explain all the different stuff it's really easy to make and you need a flat back a glass stone or all, all kinds of stuff like that so yeah this is one of the tutorials that I'm waiting to air 
I thought it would be nice for Halloween. Of course, I don't celebrate Halloween. I'm Jewish. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I thought it would be nice for other people who do. I think I'm going to make here a pocket on the side. There is too much stuff here, but what can I say? Uh, I just have to... I start a project. I put all around me the stuff that I need. I showed you the stuff. And then as I go, it just keep closing on me. <laughs> because I use it and it keeps closing on me. I don't want a big pocket, so I'm trimming also here. Let's see. Maybe... So I will still have a strip here left over. For decorating another page. Okay. So that, that's going to be the pocket. Even the pages that are, well, let's say finished. I can, when I, I will go over everything, I can go back and decide if I want to add something more. Okay, here we go. Pocket. I'm thinking later on I will ink the edges of my pages. But right now I, I don't want to deal with it. So I'm leaving it as is. Next. Let's see got this um, stickers on happy mail sorry to say I don't remember for don't remember from whom so thank you whoever sent it to me and please 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 I know that you want to uh, don't send me anything I don't have I don't have room for anything. I, you, everyone has good intention, and thank you for thinking of me. All the ones that approached, uh, contacted me, and asked about if they can do something. I, I really don't need anything. I uh, thank you. The only thing I need from you is to it's corny <laughs> i need you to stand by me okay that's the only thing i need if you continue uh, watching my videos if you continue uh, liking if you continue um uh, uh, leaving me comments that's the only thing i need otherwise i really don't need anything else i have now more than 700 videos on my channel so lots and lots of information i really hope that if if i can't continue a from any reason to post videos I'm really hoping that you will go and watch those videos not everything is great 
what can I say? Especially the first ones that were made with a flip phone <laughs> on top of shoe boxes. And yeah, I'm just taking the last sticker from this. So I'm quite finished with it. Just using what I have. Okay, last sticker. I will just find some, somewhere to put it. And it's done. Okay. back okay finished with this next what did I not use I I don't know this one is a flip let's round the edges just so it would be more visible if you don't have some kind of punch like this just take a round object like this, put it to the corner or mark it and then um, cut it or just go directly and cut it. So I can just hold it in place and go with my nail scissors because they have a curve. It's easier to do curvy things with this and it's more dainty uh, from other scissors so that's one way to go about it any round object let's see i think i will need to go when i'm finished i will need to go over everything and ink the edges it would be more a uh, pronounced and more I don't know in sync with the rest if everything will be inked at the edges maybe put something here let's see maybe an en small envelope this I bought from the cheap store, small envelopes with, it's supposed to be greeting cards with this kind of card. Just a shame to waste it, right? It's like you're flipping it and you lose this. So maybe I'll just... This is going here. That's I already know I like it. It looks great here. So the envelope I'm not sure yet. This one is going here. And I'm thinking that I need more butterflies. turned out better than I thought yeah okay maybe just giving it a little bit of color 
it's just too stark white. Oops. Nothing is planned. I'm just doing as I go. I like how it's lo well looking distressed and <laughs> distress inks and it lo it's looking distressed. Yeah, I'm going to do something even, let's see, I'm going to cut the envelope. Not cutting it very <laughs> Let's do it the other way. Okay. Okay. So, what I'm going to do... I'm going to use this on this page I can't see what I'm doing is it my eyesight if it's lack of sleep I don't know maybe if I'll do it on this side I will see what I'm doing okay saving this I'm not uh, getting rid of it it will go someplace else Nothing is going to waste. This one is going here, definitely. Did I say I don't have enough room here? Okay, here we are. Let's add another butterfly so it will be more cohesive with this page. It doesn't have to be, but I am just going for it. Yeah. Finished this one. Do I want to decorate this on the outside, on the inside, not sure, let's see. right now no nope. I'm not sure what to do here
Okay. I'm winging it. That's it. No plan. What can one do? But at least I'm doing something which is not glued to all, all the horrible news right now. I'll get back to it <laughs> because I have to because you just have you don't have a choice you need to do, to know what's going on okay All from the leftovers. Isn't it great? Using the leftovers, all the small pieces. I feel like I want something here. Let's see. I've got these stickers. Let's see. I don't know. What can I say? Yeah. Okay, leaving this as is, moving on. What do I want to do with this page? I've got more stuff. A few weeks ago, I've made an art journal from 12 by 12. I've taken all my... Uh, scrapbook uh, paper packs which had first of all I took a lot of pages out of them and in each one there were all kinds of strips and die cuts so I've put them uh, here and maybe it's time to use something like this or this Uh, yeah okay I'm gonna trim it here I'm really trying nowadays to it will take me a lot of time I'm trying to reorganize everything so it would be more accessible so I'm not sure yet I'm thinking even if it, organizing some of my stuff by color and I don't know I need things to be accessible I need things to be more in my face so I will remember to use them so like I know I need a, a strip, a decorative strip. I know to go here and pick something. That's the best explanation I can give. So that's the envelope that I've stitched inside. Don't think I need to add to it. It won't, it's just, nope. 
doesn't do anything for it it's nice and even when you flip it like here it's really great so I'm leaving it as is maybe 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 Yeah, I'm going, to, no, no, almost, but no. What if I'll take another page? It's not good. It keeps staring instead of going nicely out of the glue here. Okay. too big for this page what if let's try it it's just paper I've got so many papers so even if it's horrible then it's horrible I will not use it it, it can go into the bin and that's it as I said what's the worst that could happen better but now before I'm gluing it I do want to ink around the edges once it's glued I will not be able to do it not because I mind the white just because I think it will just add to the hole If I'm tearing a page, then let's go and make the best of it. Whew, I'm getting tired. I was really hoping to finish at least one signature today. Let's see, maybe, maybe I'll manage it. Okay, first I'm going to glue this. Wait, I need to trim it here. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, I'm think maybe, maybe later I'll do something with the rest. Right now I'm leaving it as is. I think it's really nice. Here is the other side of the same thing in the signature and yeah maybe I, I for, uh, maybe a washi tape I forgot about my washi tapes bring out the washi tapes let's see
Here we go. Washi tapes. Only part of... <laughs> This could be interesting. I'm just tearing it. I like it that it's torn. If you don't like, <laughs> just use scissors. Here we go. I'm just playing, that's all. Let's see. Okay, here we go. So that's nice. What else? Yeah going for it, sticking it here. Okay. What do I want to do with this page? What else do I have here? Maybe maybe use something. This let's see, moving it aside. Mm. It's a little bit crooked. It's a paper napkin. What can you do? I'm trying just to make, to cut it straight right now, so I can take something out of it without being crooked. Okay, so I've got this, this too, and I'm thinking, let's see, scissors. I want this corner, something like that. Not sure. No, no. I'm just playing. Well, let's try. If it will be awful, I will not use it.
Okay, this is too much. Wanted some kind of a wavy line so it would be interesting and not a triangle or a rectangle, something a little bit different to tuck in. Yeah. Basically, it's a tuck in corner. So you stick something inside and and I'm not sure but I'm going for it what's the worst that could happen I know my mantra here we go Let's see if I have something in my stashes to, that would be nice to tuck in here. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I'm bringing it just so you will see what's going on. This is just one of my stashes of greeting cards, ATCs, uh, some of them in, uh, not finished, all kinds of tags, all kinds of bookmarks and whatnots, envelopes and that I made and still don't have anything in, in them. I just made the envelopes and all these bookmarks are just partly done. What can I say? <laughs> it's in progress. <laughs> and all of these are greeting cards here. Like, I think I have a video of, yeah, this, how to make this simple uh, greeting cards with this, the ginkgo leaf. So, yeah. So that's what I'm uh, going through right now. I want some kind of a tag like this one. Maybe it will work here just to tuck it in here. Yeah. And this is the ba baby wipe with that I've cleaned all kinds of paint. I'm always telling you keep it just Cut it to ribbons when it's dry, of course, and use it on your uh, tags or bookmarks. So, let's see, maybe I've got... No. Yeah. Okay, this one is going in. All kinds of stuff, and of course, it can wait for the end of the decorating and then just start stick things into pockets and uh, tuck ins. But I don't know, I told you I'm just going with the flow, and we'll see. Okay, so. What else do I want here? Maybe use again some no. So not sure. Mm, maybe I need to use some stamping here. Let's see. Just close this. I 
I'm trying <laughs> to make space. Okay. I'm not uh, taking them out of the acetate right now. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to stamp it. I'm not even uh, trying for a perfect print. Don't care. It's just something to be in the background of this white space. go that's it yeah the dreaded white space I conquered it <laughs> did I tell you I'm tired <laughs> Probably bored. I don't know where everything goes. Okay. Let's do something here. And I've got some. I took one punch here and I thought to use to punch from areas that are really nice like this photo of sky that could be nice. Let's see. Mm. It can hardly be it disappears on this page. Maybe well I'm going to decorate at least here with this. So just a little bit of glue. thinking do I want it to center or here I'm going to put it here and I'm going to look for a button yeah oops buttons so many buttons I've got flower ones that should probably work. Yeah, here we go. So easy, just making stuff as I go.
Okay, I still want to decorate this. It bothers me uh, this. I like all the flowers, but it's too the same color. I need to do something that will, what can I say, break the color down. That's how I feel about this page. So I'm thinking, what the heck am I going to put here that will stand out? Let's see. Okay, I can live with it. Okay. We have this. Maybe put something here that will correspond with this. Something that has a little bit of gold. Okay. I want to tuck something in. I've still got so much to go. Let's see. No. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little break organize a little bit here because it's just overwhelming too much stuff is going around and i'll be back okay i'm back and i really hope that i can finish one signature and i've got more of the same here the punches from the magazine and i'm thinking of doing putting here some 
of the flowers. I'll trim the excess later. Right now I'm just placing it on my page. Some of it is sticking out of the edge and that's what I'm going to trim. Let's hope I can move it. I want to three to get in. Maybe let them overlap. Yeah. So here we go. Three flowers and now I'm just going to trim. just easier from the other side to see what you're doing. Here we go. I think it's nice. Yeah. Okay. Let's use more of the leftovers. This is sticking out, but I didn't put glue here. A butterfly punch which now is giving me trouble here we go I'll deal with it later yeah Here we go. And let's see. I'm trying to see if I can save the rest. Yeah, here it is. Maybe I could use it someplace else. on something like this you know maybe so keeping this again <laughs> nothing is going to waste you know even the small pieces once again it's not glued here only to this so I still got an operational pocket. Now what? <laughs> I'm running out of ideas. I don't know. Mm. 
Let's take not interesting enough for me. I will do some flip one right here. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Don't overthink it. I'm just going to do it. Okay. And I think I'll just use this to be the hinge for the flip. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, just to make sure it stays in place and yeah is it crooked maybe no good enough here we go another piece that I have I think like three years just a piece of packaging that I put some gesso then I stamped this um, script uh, stamp and then I glued this is a paper napkin and I think I went with some kind of paint uh, around it just a little bit of paint that's it and it's waiting for me like three years to use what can I say? Stashes are good, but if they remain stashes, then you don't have, it just, it's going to waste if it continues to stay in the stash, if you forget about it there. and maybe not sure I want some kind of sticker nope. I don't know, maybe leave it right now, okay, so we finished with this, this is good, now here, do I want to use this one, of course I will have to trim it, or maybe not, maybe this will stick out, not sure. Yeah, definitely that's what I'm going to do.
not going up to the top so it won't close my pocket What else? I want something, I don't know, here or here. Let's see. Trying to finish the signature, trying to think what to say, and I'm out of words. Okay. <laughs> Sadly, I don't have uh, more energy depleted <laughs> this is it i will uh, continue in i hope i am really hoping that i will continue to make other videos and that i will have better things to tell you so i'm signing off right now and i uh, as i said thank you for watching thank you for leaving me comments and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.